and of course, the Phoenix, the rising sun. And that's why all religions of the world worship the sun and the fire. Religion means the legions of the sun god, Re. And that's why the Illuminati use the pyramid and the pirate. And that's why they use the one-eyed symbolism, because the right eye is the sun, and the dark eye is the moon, the left-hand path, and the right-hand path. And now you know why the witch carries the broom, the symbol of the why, the symbol of the broken path, the witch's way. And witchcraft uses the sacred fire for spell casting. And that's why the priestess of the Oracle of Delphi was known as the Pythia, the python or the pole or the snake of fertility. And that's why her prophecies came from the tripod. So as you can see, the elite of the world have always worshipped the sun. And that's why all religions of the world are about the sun and the fire fertility. Why do you think we have an empire? For the same reason that we have an emperor. The word emperor or empire comes from the word impale, which comes from Vlad the Impaler. And notice, he's wearing the red cap of death. A shaft or a pole or a spear or a spire is a fertility phallus symbol. That's why they say the Washington Monument was erected. So not only is it a sun die L, the monument also represents the moon, Min, the fertility Egyptian moon god. And that's why it's called a moon Min, the monument. And that's why the Freemasons used witchcraft and moon magic. And that's why the Freemasons laid the cornerstone on the night of the Black Moon of Death. And the first stone to reach a height of 152 feet was laid on August 7th, 1880, night of the Black Moon of Death. And when they finished on August 2nd, 1876, they laid the capstone on the night of the full moon. And that's why the Babylonians built the Tower of Babel. They were trying to reach the moon god, Sin. Because the moon is the fire fertility torch that is lit at night for the underworld. And that's why we have fertility towers to this very day. And that's why on the night of the full moon in 1945, the Empire State Building was hit by a B-25 bomber. And that's why it's the Empire, the Emperor, Pyre, or the Impaler, Fire. And that's why the Emperor has the red fertility pole of fire. And that's why Jesus was impaled with the phallus fertility stake or pole. And he was stabbed with the fertility spear. And they burned the empire of the Reichstag building on the night of the Black Moon of Death. Just like when they burned the World Trade Center the first time on the night of the Black Moon in 1975. Empire on fire. Again, the towers of fertility burn. Just like the fire fertility of the tarot or the torch with the twin pillars and the burning towers. Because we're talking about the fire fertility of the herma or the pole. Why do you think New York has the herma in the middle? It's the chaos, the primordial grounds. Do you remember the black monolith from the film 2001, A Space Odyssey? Remember, it was the black chaos of the primordial waters giving knowledge to the monkeys. Because the primordial mound pierces the black chaos of the watery abyss. Exactly like the ritual of September 11th. And that's why we clearly saw the black monolith of death. And remember, the attacks happened in 2001, exactly like the film 2001. And a black monolith just means the black moon of Lilith, the demon death goddess. And September 11th is the birth month of the Coptic calendar, the first month of Thoth, the moon god. And the 
fertility perma, the Hermes Trismegistus, the fire fertility, gives us the hermetic maxim, as above, so below, which today gives us the hermetic order of the golden dawn. Notice that the towers are being struck by lightning, and then they burn on fire. And the burning towers of chaos is preceded by the devil's car. And notice he's sitting in between his pillars of slaves. And they are chained and bound to him. Why do you think the Bible talks about the red hot pillar of fire? Here we see a Hebrew high priest anointing the phallic stone, anointing the phallic penis head. Why do you think you have to get on your knees to be anointed? You can watch my other video for a longer description, but believe me, anointing has to do with sex. And that's why the Hindu religion worships the lingam, which is the symbol of the phallic penis. Notice the sex magic of the male penis inserted into the woman, exactly like the Vatican. Which takes us back to the red Canaanite Phoenicians. They give us the word phallus, which is the erect, hard penis, which gives us words like the palace. And we get our word master from the mast, which is the pole, or the fertilic symbol of L, and that's why it's called a sail. And a war ship gives us our word worship. And speaking of worship, the Mecca stone is the Black Kaaba. And worshippers come up and rub and kiss the giant vagina or yoni. In the Encyclopedia of Wicca and Witchcraft, it says that the earliest representation of the moon deity was known to be a black obelisk or a black stone. Early legend reaccounts that this stone fell from the sky as though it had come from the gods themselves. And that's why Islamic tradition holds that the stone fell from the heavens. And that's why 2001 shows that the black obelisk fell from the sky and brought knowledge to the apes. But what knowledge did it bring? It showed them how to kill. And they show the black obelisk and who to kill for, the sun and the moon. So was the sacrificial 2001 ritual supposed to elevate man to a higher level? And we get many of our laws from the black phallic pillar of the black obelisk. The Code of Hammurabi. The black obelisks of Assyria. And Chaldean means moon worshippers. And the Chaldeans worshipped the moon god Sin. So we see that the ancient primordial fertility pole is still being used today. And that's why many things in our society, like games and even food, is actually a symbol of fertility, the phallic symbol. And that's why we drink from the fertility cans and the wine bottle and the beer bottle, which comes from the king of the Canaanite gods, El. And that's why the letter L is shaped like an erect penis. And Ashura is the consort to L, the Canaanite Semitic mother goddess. Also known as Inanna, Ishtar, Ashtarte, and Venus and Aphrodite. And Ashtaroth wore the head of a bull, Isis and Apis. And we find the Ashura style figurines in Judea. And Asherah is the ancient tree goddess of the Hebrews and Arabs. And Asherah means the fire woman in Hebrew. Exactly like the fire woman Moses encountered with her burning bush. And Asherah gives us our word Ash. As well as astrology. And Asherah and Ishtar gives us our word Star. And of course it gives us our word Easter from Ishtar and that's why we use the eggs and the fertility of the bunny and the Bible speaks of the Asherah pole break down their altars smash their sacred stones and cut down their Asherah poles 
So we see the ancient goddess that is worshipped as the sacred pillar or the sacred 